Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading from Psalm 119, verse 168 today. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Verse 168 says, I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. That motivated him. He knew that God was with him, no matter where he was. He knew that God saw everything that he did, heard every word that he spoke, and even read the thoughts and the intents of his mind. And that motivated him to keep God's precepts. The writer loved God, and he loved his commandments. And so, yes, it's true that he knew God was watching, and that was a motivation for him. But another motivation, even loftier, I suppose, is that he wanted to be obedient because he did love God. He did love the Lord, and he loved his commandments. And we see more evidence that this man was saved because that is the mark of a saved person. You love God. God. You love his word. You love his commandments. You love righteousness. You are upright in heart, as the Bible puts it. You're not always upright in action, and that bothers you, but you are upright in heart. Your desires are to be holy. And so he wanted to be obedient. That love for God and that love of righteousness should motivate every Christian to obey. That should be the prime motive, a love for God. In fact, every day I pray. I may have mentioned this last time. I'm not sure. But every day I pray, Lord, help me to serve you out of love because you are so good. So that should be our primary motivation for doing what is right in the eyes of God. But as I said, there's another motive here. And maybe not as lofty as love, but it's not a bad one. God, you are always with me. And if you're always with me, then you see everything that I do. And so I better obey you. You know, I went to a parochial school for eight years, and uh, and we were we were disciplined. Boy, believe me, it was a Catholic school with nuns, nuns that taught us, and they were disciplinarians. And boy, if you disobeyed even a little bit, if you whispered, you'd get your hair pulled, or you'd get smacked the side of the face, or hit with a ruler or something. So we were. Really good little Catholic boys and girls, especially the boys. We were really good. Well, I'll tell you what, girls were just good to begin with. But us boys, we were good because we were afraid to be bad. And I remember on a rare occasion, the, the nun would uh, leave the room. That didn't happen very often. But every now and then, she would leave the room to go down to... Uh, to the library or whatever, go to the office. The moment she w left that room, we staged a, stationed a, a lookout by the door, and then it was total chaos because the nun was not looking. I mean, it was just wild. Rubber bands flying, you know, paper clips flying, uh, this and that. Nothing made spitballs, of course. Take the, take the insides out of a big pen and use that as a, as a pea shooter. All sorts of things going on when the nun was not there. Well, when the one in charge, the one who punishes is watching, you aren't too bright if you disobey. And God is watching. So let that be a motive, another motive, to obey the Lord Jesus Christ. Till next time, so long.